Hi everyone, it's the Cinema Dude, and this video, once again, we're back in the movie room. So earlier this week, I dropped a video uh, showing my recent haul to Dollar Tree. And I picked up uh, about five titles, and I thought, okay, you know, that's what I got, and that's what it was. Um, the stores that I had didn't really have a lot, or whatever, but come to find out, it was the end of their one stock, and beginning of their um, new stock was coming out. So since then, uh, I've made a few stops at Dollar Tree. Uh, my girlfriend had to pick stuff up there that she needed for um, her work. And so we went there and they had a whole brand new stuff. So in total, um, with stuff I just recently got, not um, including the old, um, old stuff from the past video, I got a whopping 27 ti uh, new titles. So, let's check them out. There's some I'm really excited for and stuff. So, let's look at them. So, first we'll go into some uh, kind of animation kind of stuff that I picked up. Uh, first one is Witch's Night Out. Uh, this is... There's also some bonus cartoons on here. Uh, some Popeye and Three Stooges, Casper. So, this is um, a Halloween special um, that has... Uh, Gilda Radner um, voicing one of the characters. And I've never seen this before, but I'm always excited for Halloween kind of specials and cartoons. So I was like, oh, I'll pick this up. So um, most of these are blind buys. Um, some of these I have seen before. But yeah, this one, never seen before. But I thought, hey, let's add it to the collection. Uh, the next one is a Shout Factory release, which I was very surprised to see those there. And it's Conan the Adventurer and Season 1. Uh, so this was the Conan the Barbarian cartoon from the 80s, made by the same studio that did G.I. Joe's and Transformers. So really cool to have this in my collection. And, uh, you know, I like the Conan, you know, the Arnold Schwarzenegger Conan movie. So it was kind of cool to see there. Uh, then let's go to uh, some action movies. Um, so they had this Chuck Norris uh, it's a four film set uh, that has uh, Lone Wolf McQuaid, Missing in Action, The Delta Force, and Code of Silence on it. Um, now, I did post some of these in a uh, Instagram post a few days ago, but then since yesterday I've actually added some more too. So um, if you see my Instagram post, you'll see some of these, but there are also some brand new ones as well. So it's kind of cool to have, you know, kind of his more famous films all together in kind of one set. So it's a nice addition uh, to my action area of my collection. And then speaking of kind of uh, sets, we have the Magnificent Seven collection. Uh, this one includes the Magnificent Seven, the Return of the Magn Magnificent Seven, Guns of the Magnificent Seven, and the Ma Magnificent, yeah, excuse me, the Magnificent Seven ride. Uh, so uh, I have the first one. But I've seen this before, and usually, you know, it's like 20 bucks or whatever. But to get it, you know, in one kind of uh, set is kind of cool. So it's uh, going to replace my other Magnificent Seven DVD I have with the uh, whole set of them. Uh, then we have a Blu-ray, and uh, this one is actually a pretty cool movie. I have seen this before. Um, I have this on DVD, but I'm now uh, upgrading it. And that's... Uh, Force 10 from Navarone, and this is the sequel to The Guns of Navarone, and this one has Harrison Ford, and Carl Weathers, and Robert Shaw, so it's kind of that World War II kind of action movie, uh, so I'm really excited now to have this on Blu-ray. Uh, next, <laughs> this is uh, kind of a funny one. This was one of the ones I feel like I saw a lot as a kid. I have the first one in this series um, on DVD, but I don't have this one or the second one. But it's uh, Turtles 3, uh, t Turtles in Time, which they've now added for all these releases, even though it's not called Turtles in Time in, on, in the actual movie. Uh, so it's kind of cool to have this one. Yeah, I remember watching this one a lot as the kids, I think, because this was the most kid-friendly of them. So uh, it's cool to add this to my collection. Uh, then we have Badass, and this is a kind of a docu, not a documentary, but a biopic movie about 
uh, Melvin uh, Van Peebles, the director that made uh, Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song, and kind of his, I don't know if it's his life or if it's just him trying to make the film, but it was very interesting because, um, you know, it's a, a area that I do enjoy is black exploitation movies. And, a scene, and this is actually the actor who plays it is Mario Van Peebles, so the son. And he created this movie to kind of honor his father and kind of go into the process of, process of his life and making that movie. So going to be very interesting to check out this one. I am excited to check this one out. Uh, then we will go into, let's go into some um, nature documentary. So I got, the last one I got was that bear family and me, which was the one I got in my first video. But since then, I, as you can see, I got a whole bunch more. So uh, the first one I got is Blue Planet uh, Seas of Life. And that one has ocean worlds and frozen seas on it. Uh, da uh, narrated by David Attenborough. And this is a BBC video one. So excited to add another David Attenborough uh, documentary. Especially because it is a BBC one as well. Then I got Shark. Which is again a BBC Earth uh, release. And this one is oh narrated by Paul McGann uh for Doctor Who fans the ninth doctor so that's kind of cool um yeah just another kind of shark one uh, I, I always like the especially the underwater ones I think are my favorite of the kind of nature documentaries so it's kind of cool uh to have that uh then I had got perfect shark as you can tell there's a shark theme co going on uh and this one is from 2014 uh says 2014 but also says 2006 bbc uh corporation so i actually don't know which one of those ones, but another kind of shark uh bbc earth um nature documentary so again kind of cool to check that out and then uh last on the shark kind of thing is shark week 25th anniversary uh, collection. So this was done in 2012, and this one gives you Ultimate Air Jaws, Blood in the Water, Mythbuster, Shark Week Special, and Great White Shark Uncaged. Uh, so it's kind of a whole bunch of their kind of specials, fan favorites. Uh, so it's kind of cool to add. Uh, this is the Discovery uh, Channel one, so kind of awesome. And it awesome I find that found that too because. Um, I, this was like the last one of them, so it was, I was glad to pick that up. Uh, then there was this big set. Now, I've heard, um, from talking to certain people since I posted that picture, um, a few days ago that this set, how they pack them in is not the best. Um, so I'll have to see when I open it, but this is, uh, the Blue Realm, and this is, it's a complete series. As you can see, it's pretty de decent size. Um, and this one gives you, it's the complete 39 episode series of Undersea Explorer. Um, a lo that comes in here, but also too, they give you the Blue Realm, which is 13 one hour episodes, uh, that go into discussions about octopus, whale sharks, sea lions. So there's a lot on this. Uh, set. And then also the ship, ship sinkers. I'll try to say that three times fast. Um, it's a one hour special about adventurers and explosive ex experts who blow up decommissioned naval vessels and sink them, creating thriving artificial reefs. That's kind of cool. Though. So this one's kind of a cool one. I want to check it out. I like I said, it's uh, people said that the um, inside they're kind of just stuffed in there and stuff. So hopefully. You know, maybe they fixed it or, you know, I'll have to check that out. So, if it's bad or not. Uh, then we will go into a whole bunch of Blu-rays I got. Um, first and foremost, so, I actually got two of these. Um, I'm actually going to give one to my friend, Anthony. Shout out to Anthony. Uh, hope you're doing well. So, um, another uh, Scream Factory release, which, again, I was surprised to see. Uh, and I got... Backcountry. Um, 
And it came with the slip cover, which I'm kind of excited that it came with the slip cover. But uh, this is a movie. I've seen this movie. It's kind of unsettling. It's about this um, bear that this huge bear that kind of hunts these people. But the way that it's shot, it's like what you actually could think would happen if you were, you know encountered a gigantic bear. And it's it's a tense thriller. The effects are pretty gnarly in it. Um, I won't spoil too much, but it is. You're, you you kind of get sick to your stomach with it. So um, my girlfriend does not like this movie, but um, it's an interesting one. But again, it's awesome that it's a Scream Factory release. So I'll be able to add it to my Scream Factory collection. So that's Backcountry. Um, and then I, as I might have shown before, I picked up uh, the Innkeepers. Uh, this is Ty West film. This is the one that comes after House of the Devil. Um, I have this on DVD, so it's a nice um, upgrade. Uh, it's the same release, it's just the uh, the Blu-ray version of it. So that's the Innkeepers. Uh, then they had the Belko Experiment. I have yet to see this one, but I've heard good things about that one, this movie. So it's uh, it's an interesting one. Uh, just reading off the back of it, kind of how they were saying it's. It's uh, The Office Space meets Battle Royale, so I'm interested to check this one out. If you guys have seen The Balco Experiment, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of it, and uh, going to check this one out. Uh, then, uh, this was kind of cool. So this is the remake of Piranha, and this is the one that came out in 2010. And when I found this, I was like, oh, I've never seen, because I've seen this one before, you know, in cheap bins and stuff like that, but I've never seen a slipcover before. So the slipcover opens up, and it has Tony Todd, or no, yeah, it looks like Tony Todd. I think it is. I think it's, yeah, I think Tony Todd's in this one. And, uh, you know, so I've never seen that kind of cool slipcover, so I was like, oh, yeah, I'll pick that up. I don't have this one, actually, in my collection either, so I was kind of glad to add that as well. Uh, then we had uh, Don't Knock Twice. Again, this is another Scream Factory re release. Um, never seen this one before, but this one kind of looked interesting. Again, if you've seen this before, you know, tell me how it is. Um, I looked it up. It seems like it had some mixed reviews. People either like it or they don't. So leave a comment below and uh, let me know what you if you've seen Don't Knock Twice and what you thought about it. Uh, then the last few is this is the Canadian release of Blow uh, with uh, Johnny Depp and Penelope Cruz. Um, I have this one on. I believe I have this one on DVD. Um, I have it not in this set, but in the set that I was um, willed. So, again, it will probably be an upgrade. But this is, like I said, this is the uh, Canadian release of this. So I don't know if there's an actual American release of this. So that was kind of cool to add. Uh, then I got Jack the Giant Slayer uh, 3D. So this is kind of cool because it came with the slip. And it's like the lenticular uh, slip. So it's kind of cool to add. I've never seen this one before. Uh, but it looked kind of cool, and uh, let's see. I don't know if it's like a, they take place during that time or if it's a modern retelling. So I'll be interested to check this one out. But again, kind of a cool cover and stuff, so awesome to add into my collection. Uh, and then the last two here on, on in this set, uh, the first one is Driven with Sylvester Stallone. Now, one time... I heard this was actually an out of print release, so I don't know if it's still out of print and this is just extra stock or if it's come back into print. So uh, I actually remember seeing this one. I've seen this one before, and I remember seeing this one. I feel like I saw this like at the movie theaters or it was like a movie experience. I don't know, it was something weird, but I do remember seeing this movie. Um, so I'm again excited to like rewatch it. And then this one I was surprised to see there because. This is this is a studio release. This is something that you know they'll you'll spend nineteen ninety nine on this. But I was very surprised to get this a for a dollar and to, you know and b to see it there. But that is the Terminator, the original one. Uh, so I'm really excited to get this to upgrade my release that I have of it. 
Um, so I was, I've seen this before, and I've even seen it places where it's like five dollars. But I was like, ah, you know what? I have it. And, uh, but for a dollar, sure, I'll add, I'll upgrade it. So uh, it's cool to get this, and I'll probably pop this one in tonight or whatever. So, uh, and then I have some BBC shows uh, that I got, like two kind of horror related ones that I saw and I was like, oh, this is kind of interesting. Um, the first one is Intruders. Um, this one is, it says, from the writer and executive producer of The X-Files, Intruders. Um, I've never seen this before, so again, if you guys have seen this, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about it. But again, it looked really interesting and uh, another kind of, these BBC shows are pretty good, so I'm interested to check this one out. And then the other one I got too, again, I haven't seen this one as well, is The Living and the Dead. Uh, again, kind of a pseudo thing, but the the Somerset Valley, it sounds like the Wicker Man, because it wasn't the Wicker Man in uh, that place as well, so it'll be interesting to see if that's what it is, if it ties into it, but again, I've never seen this before, so it'll be very interesting to check this one out. And then the last few... Uh, for this video. Uh, the first one is Bernie and Ernie. It's the ESPN 30 for 30 documentary on Bernard King and Ernie Grun Grunfield. Uh, so this one was actually a pretty one. I've seen this one before. It's a pretty good documentary. There's another sports one. I was looking for the OJ Made in America one, but I couldn't find it. But uh, hey, I'll take a ESPN 30 for 30 documentary. Uh, then we have Wings, uh, the complete first and second season. Uh, I like Wings. It's a pretty, you know, fun comedy show. Uh, I think people kind of forget about it um, compared to, you know, like kind of the other stuff that was out during that time. But I always thought it was a good show. Um, it did cross over with Frasier and Cheers, I think, or one or the other. But this is kind of the same kind of universe and stuff. So excited to have season one in my collect and season two in my collection. And then the last two are kind of very strange ones. I just saw these, and they're interesting to pick up. I, I don't know why I got these, but I did. Um, this one is a Quebec children's series. Uh, Passé par Parat. Um, I'm probably bur butchering that. But, uh, yes, this is a uh, kid series from, like, the 70s. And it was, like, their take almost on Sesame Street and... Thing, those kind of shows so but like it has a whole bunch of like live action stuff but then also stuff with like puppets and stop motion and things like that but they don't interact so it's not like like sesame street or mr rogers where like you'd have the puppets interacting with the people and but these are like completely separate so i'm very interested to kind of break this open and check this out it's all in like french so that's kind of cool as well so that's that one and then the final one is this gigantic railways, the ultimate railroad experience. Uh, so I showed this to my girlfriend yesterday, and she's like, "Why did you get that?" I'm like, "Hey, look, it's a dollar, and it's for over 18 hours of trains." Um, I just feel like this is something you could put on the background and just, you know, clean or whatever, and you know, kind of relaxing type stuff. But it's all different footage of different trains and things like that so another i don't know if they're documentaries or if they're just kind of oh this is a you know lionel whatever whatever uh, but uh so it's exciting another kind of weird one to get so but yes those were all of my extra uh stuff that i'm getting so i hope you guys are all having a great week um you guys are staying safe if you have picked up anything from the dollar tree uh sales comment below uh, let me know what you got. Anything did you see here that you hope you can catch when you're out there and stuff. So, but again, thanks for watching my video. And remember, be kind and rewind.